I'm sure everyone has had some memorable fights on GTA Online. The fights that, to this day, you still don't forget. It could be your first ever fight with a tryhard in Xbox 360 in 2015, or a battle that created a long-lasting online friend. To me, this fight is one I won't forget for a long time. Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich? like me. If so, head over to Messy Modding Store for all your gaming needs where you can get GTA 5 cash and rank, GTA 5 modded accounts, and many more. And if you're having doubts, look at all these happy customers. While this fight is quite recent, it showcases the issues I was talking about in my last video. There are always going to be great, unknown players, but it's almost impossible for a complete random to be able to beat a top player easily without someone in the community ever hearing about them. The other issue this fight highlights is one of the biggest problems with PvP in GTA Online. Now with the power of hindsight, this is the pathetic story of the best sniper I've ever fought. The fight begins on the 10th of July 2023, just after midnight. I was doing a few errands to make sure my account had all the latest vehicles, all great for PvP, and I was on my way to my hangar to customise the Raiju that I'd just bought. I noticed some people already at the military base, but I decided not to intervene and just went to fly to my hangar. Okay, that was an insane shot. And what makes it more insane is if you look at his blip, he turns around and the instant he sees me, boom, I'm dead. But this is not an impossible shot. I did something similar here. Oh my God, I didn't even mean to kill him. Yep, yeah, fair enough, you got a nice kill. I'm just gonna try and kill him back. And now the other guy is up on me 1-0, and I'm still a tryhard at heart, so I have to get that kill back now. And now we've got a fight in our hands. Right, so you might be able to tell which direction this video is going to go in. Look at this. He's just superhuman. During these fights, I rarely stop to think and consider what's actually going on. I don't want to call something out when I could be wrong. I know it's completely possible for someone to be really good, but let's just see how good this guy is. Let's set up a counter. Actually, for reference of what I can do, this is the best kill streak I've ever gotten in a 1v1 on PC. You get 10 kills without dying, I've done it 80. Okay. Let's try this, that's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Oh, by the way, we're playing one-shot rules, so I'm not going to count the shot that I have on him when he's standing still. Six. Six. Fuck. Seven. So yeah, while I got seven kills in a row, I only got five kills in a row where I didn't miss any shots, which to this day is probably one of the best I've done. Now let's go back to see what happened in the fight. Here, even though it didn't kill me, he still got a hit marker, which counts as a shot without missing. Right, this fucking game is so So 
at this point, I just think I'm being outskilled. In desperation, I even go to try and change my sensitivity in case that would help me come back a little bit. So here I go ghosted to Hazzy. Not only is it a 2v1, but Hazzy had the most insane aim I'd ever seen. He had a ridiculous 11 shots without missing against a player who apparently has really hard movement to hit. But this video isn't just about me taking an L. So now it seems like Hazzy's trying to shake my screen with his rockets, just so I have a worse chance against Wolfie. Um, is it just me or does that sound familiar? So my thoughts are, either he used the railgun, or he used the sniper with explosive ammo. Now the thing with the railgun, it's got quite a distinctive sound, but you can only really hear that when you're up close, and I'm not sure whether it was close enough for me to be able to hear it. So he's either doing this, or he was doing this. What do you guys think? Yes, yeah, science! So notice at this point, Hazzy says in game chat, time to stop I guess was fun, but this is not the end of it. At this point, let me know what you guys think about Hazzy, if you think he's legit or not, and save that opinion that you've got for what's about to happen. I should also mention that for some reason my game chat's bugged, so they can't actually see what I'm typing.
At this point, I realized, what am I doing? I'm just wasting my time. I'm just dying a lot. And the only person that I can actually fight with is Wolfie. In fact, in a 1v1 situation, he gets absolutely destroyed. So I decide to go passive and do something that I try and do, which never really succeeds. And that's talk to them. Excuse for defending your friend is saying that I'm hacking. I'm sus. No. No, 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 I'm not, not saying you're hacking. hacking. Alright, let's have a look here. So, I'm not saying you're hacking. The guy that just said, no, I'm not saying you're hacking, he's Wolfie. The other guy is Hazzy. I'm just going through and showing them a few of my clips. Oh, uh, oh wait, can we see the shot, please? Can we see the shot? Yeah. Oh, yeah for real. So, I, look, I turn it around like that, because I don't want to get shot, because I can see... We were literally just... I was literally minding my business. <laughs> oh, what the f Yeah, so I told you... I turned it away so I wouldn't get shot, and I still get shot. You're literally not even looking at me as well. But... Okay, how the fuck did I just see that? I don't even know. Oh, I don't even know how I hit that. Typical excuse. You're this one here. You're this little red one, you see. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's you, you're not looking at me. I mean, there is delay on this as well, there is delay. But you, it's, again, it's your first shot where you see it. First shot, you turn around and you look at me and then I'm dead. It's your first shot. It's kind of sus that every single time you see me for a split second, I'm dead. Every Damn. single time. You, you got like... That was actually for a shot and I wasn't expecting to hit you. Oh my god. By the way... And I'm then you changed to look at me. I'm not cheating, but not as aiming. So this guy admitted that he's got mods, but he's not using it for aimbot. His aim was the most incredible thing I'd ever seen in this fight. Didn't miss a single shot, but he's only using his mod menu for other stuff. Wait, so you are cheating? And Wolfie knows. And Wolfie knows. Wait, what did you just why say? Why I use my mods. So you do have mods? Yeah, but it doesn't do. use them to fight people. Oh my god. And that's the thing. If you've got a mod menu, it's just a few clicks before you go from a legit player that only uses mods just to have protection or something like that. A few clicks, and then all of a sudden you've got aimbot, and no one can know. What the fuck was this all about? You just say you got. You just say. You should have said where you, at the start that you got a mod menu. Yeah, but well, then we would have. What, what the fuck was this conversation about then? You literally do have mods then. Yeah, but not for fighting. Oh, I, I mean, the, the mod, does the mod now? menu have? Does the mod menu have aimbot? If you wanted to turn them on. I could, but it's trash. I'm, actually. I'm a lord. I can even open the GTA now with the mod and show you how the aim works. It's actually trash. Not only do you have a mod menu, but you also hit every I single shot. I didn't even have it open again. when I was fighting. Oh yeah, yeah of course you didn't. This shouldn't have been this deep. Yeah, I mean, it, I it could have lasted like came... could have lasted like a minute. You could have just said he's got a mod menu, then I would have left. You, at the start, but you had to drag it on and go like, no, I'm not modding. And then you're like, oh, well, you were kind of sus as well. You were kind of sus at some point. Well, in my POV, but I didn't say you were cheating. Yeah, no, but I, you... everyone's sus at some points, which is what I was trying to show. Everyone's sus at some points, but <laughs> he's sus every single time I spawn in. Every single time he's sus. I'm not sus every single time. And that's the most important distinction to make. I can have some great kill streaks and be like, oh my god, this has to be aimbot. But if you look out the entire fight, my aim is inconsistent. I'm not like that all the time. Hazzy didn't miss a single shot the entire fight. And that's the reason why I accuse him of aimbot. He just admitted that he has a mod menu. What's stopping him for like this random guy that's just joined in on a fight, turning on a mod menu and turning on aimbot? And just saying, no, no, I promise I didn't. I promise I didn't. Because he's a good person. So wait, can I can I ask you something? I know it's not my business, but still. What were you doing going in your hunger? I was trying out the new jet. Because I hadn't played this update yet. Uh, I feel bad. Where are, where are you? Ow. Bro, what the yeah. fuck? How do you even see him then? So while this shot is kind of sus anyway, he also has no recoil, which I just noticed right now while editing this. So what he's doing now is sharing a 1v1 with Wolfie. And you can see he's missing loads and loads of shots his aim sucks you can actually see in the top right he's now missed like three shots three shots that he would not have missed against me in that fight beforehand he's also shaking his aim so much like he doesn't even know how to hold a mouse just like killzone in the last video how is it possible for someone to be basically the best sniper i've ever seen to someone who's losing out on wolfie the guy that i clapped but what the fuck how are you missing so many shots Oh my god, I feel like god. Because I never fight in this place. Yeah, but it doesn't like it doesn't change your aim the way you fight. To be fair, the only thing we actually do, I mean, we that we really do is 
just like, you know, clean the session of modders and griefers and shit. You were a casualty. How ironic is it that this guy is saying that he goes around and cleans the sessions of mods and griefers when his friend is literally a modder. He used mods to grief me and was the reason why I got killed in the first place because his aimbot locked onto me. He then proceeds to 2v1 me? The hypocrisy on this guy is incredible. I then asked Hazzy for a 1v1 when he was going to share his screen. This way he could just prove that he's just so incredibly good and he's not actually a cheater and he could beat me fair and square. Unfortunately he said he was tired so he said he was going to go to sleep and would 1v1 the next day. Unfortunately, the next day I'm blocked by both of them on Discord. Luckily for me, that's not where it ends though because I somehow managed to get in both of their sessions. You can even see that's an accident because I press find new session. I don't even join them through their crew or anything. Here's my live reaction. The fuck? How did that happen? Because I'm in his session, I decided to message him, ask him for the 1v1. Turns out I'm blocked on Rockstar as well. But anyway, I want to see what they're up to, so I go to spectate on TV. And this is where it's so funny, as he's invisible. So this legit modder that doesn't use mods for fighting, all of a sudden, is using the most obnoxious mod of all time. Yeah, good one, mate. So much for using it just for protections. So because I've realised that both of these guys are pieces of shit, um, yeah, you already know what's coming to them. Yeah, of course. So from pretending you're legit, trying to act like I'm the bad guy for calling you out, agreeing to 1v1, but then blocking me, I'm guessing because you're even worse than Wolfie, who couldn't even beat me when most of the time it was a 2v1, and then using invisibility, teleporting, and then crashing me in free mode. Grow up, get good.